<laughs> Hi, honey. How was school? Well, school was fine. Okay, well, what isn't fine? My friend Chris was acting really weird today. Weird like how? Very edgy and everything. Very hostile. And she seems mad at me. Are you sure she's mad at you, honey? What did you do? That's just it. I don't know what I did. Well, usually when someone's mad at you, honey, you know what you did. I know. That's why I'm so confused. Maybe she's just having a bad day. Mom, come on. You know Chris says she never has bad days. Well, there's the first time for everything, isn't there, honey? I guess. Listen, why don't you just try giving her some space? She'll come around. Okay. Meanwhile, why don't you go hang with your sister? She can't run away from you. Yes, it's come down to that, hasn't it? Be nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, Lexi. Hey, Madison. How was your day? Ugh, don't even ask. It's too late. I already did. <sighs> I had a bad day. Why? Do you want to talk about it? Since when are you sensitive? First time for everything. So tell me what the problem is. <sighs> the problem is Krissa. Who's Krissa? She's a friend of mine at school. And she's it's so impossible to get along with today. What do you mean? I don't know. She's just been really edgy toward me. She acts like I'm annoying her every time I try to talk to her. But she's nice to other people. Did you do anything to her? Why do people keep asking me that? No, I didn't do anything to her. At least not that I know of. I mean, I didn't act any differently than I usually do toward her. And she's never been mad at me before. Maybe you should just give her her space. Ugh, you know, you and mom could be twins. You say exactly the same thing she does. And what would you know about giving people space? You got expelled from your boarding school. Okay, let's not open that can of worms unless we have to. I'm sorry. I'm just so miserable. I don't know what I did wrong. I didn't do anything wrong, I don't think. Maybe she's just having a bad day. Yeah, well, it wasn't a great day for me either, knowing that she had a bad day. I don't know, Lexi. I just don't know what to do. Why don't you try calling her? How do I know she won't hang up on me? Well, it's worth a ding-dong. I wonder who that is. I don't know. Madison, it's for you. Okay, I'm coming. I wonder who that could be. I don't know. Hey. Hi. Can you talk? I wanted to talk to you all day, but you practically ignored me. I'm serious, Madison. So am I. I really want to talk to you, but it's private, so can you close the door? Yeah. So why were you being so rude yes I mean, today? Well, I didn't want to tell you at school because I was afraid the other students would hear and I'd get all this sympathy and I want people to leave me alone. Well, what's wrong? My parents are splitting up. You mean they're having a trial separation? No, I mean really splitting up, like getting a divorce. Are you sure? Of course I am. You told me just last night. Why didn't you call me and tell me? It was too late to call you, they said. And I wanted to tell you in school, but I didn't want everybody to come hugging at me. That would have made me feel worse. Is that why you were mean to me? I'm sorry I was so mean to you today. It's just that I was holding it in, and I guess the anger toward my parents came out on you, and I'm sorry about that. I really am. Please don't hate me. I can never hate you, Krista. You're one of my good friends, and, you know, it's okay. Thanks for understanding. Is there anything I can do to help? No. My parents, my dad's moving to California, and he's not even going to take me with him. 
Well, in a way, that's good. I mean, then you won't lose your friends here. I know. But what bothers me is that he's moving across the country just to stay away from my mom. He never even asked me what I thought about it. He's just packing up and leaving. When is he leaving? As soon as he gets packed, which in his case will take maybe a month or so. He already found a house in California and everything. He said during the summer I could visit him. Well, that's good. I mean... I know, but I don't want my parents to split up. I miss it when they're happy together. Yeah, but think of the advantages you'll have with divorced parents. Like what? Well, you get two birthday checks in the mail. Okay. You get two Christmases. You get two, you get two of everything. It's not worth it, Madison. And I thought you would understand that. Krista, I didn't mean to upset you. Well, you did. How can you be so selfish? I'm not being selfish. I'm just trying to make you feel better. Well, it doesn't make me feel better. Saying I'm going to get two of everything. I don't want that. I just want my parents together. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Just forget it. I'm going home. Krista, wait. Jeez. Oh, Why did I have to open my big mouth? Madison, who's at the door? You answered it. You know it was Krista. What's wrong? Why are you so angry? Because me and Krista had a fight. I was trying to cheer her up about her parents' stupid divorce, and she got mad at me. Well, what did you say to her? I said how she could, she'll get two of everything. And she's like, no, it's not worth it because I want my parents together. And what's wrong with that? Well, I live with just you and not with dad, don't I? And I live with it. Honey, some people deal with the same situation in different ways. I mean, you may be fine with me and your father getting divorced, but maybe Chris is not crazy about the idea of hers getting divorced. People react to the same situations, but in different ways. And I think Chris feels that you were insensitive to her feelings. Well, I didn't mean to be. I know you didn't, honey. Just give her time to cool down. She'll come to her senses. Yeah, when I graduate from high school. Honey, I'm serious. Just give her time. Why don't you go hang out with your sister? Okay. I'll let you know when dinner's ready. Okay. So who was at the door? It was Krista. She came to apologize for being mean. That's good. No, it isn't. Her and I wound up having a fight. Why? Did you not forgive her? No, I forgave her. So why was she being mean to you today? Did she tell you? Yeah, her parents were splitting up. Like getting a divorce. Oh, well, what, was, what were you fighting about? We were fighting because I tried to cheer her up by saying, Oh, well, you get two of everything. And she got mad at me. She accused me of being insensitive and everything. Well, you know, sometimes the same situation works differently for different people. You know, I swear you could be my mom if you could. I mean, seriously, you and mom say so much of the same things. How did you get to be so smart? Well, I didn't go to boarding school just because I was trouble. I went because, well, I was going to graduate top of my class. I just didn't like the boarding school. Well, whatever. I don't know what to do about Krista. Just give her time. I'm sure she'll apologize. And you'll be friends again. Yeah, I guess so. You know, you're not such a bad sister. Thank you. I don't know what to do, Lexi. I think that's my phone. Yeah, it is. It's ringing. It could be Krista. Why would she call? Maybe she called to apologize. Will you just pick up the phone? Okay, fine. Hello? Hey, Madison, it's Krista. 
Oh, hi. Hey, I wanted to apologize for getting angry with you. It's okay. You're going through a lot, so I'll give you an excuse. But I don't deserve an excuse. You're right, you don't, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. I mean, you are going through a rough time. I mean, I can understand that. But I didn't mean to be insensitive to you. I just wanted to try to cheer you up. I mean, no, that was my only intention. I didn't mean to upset you. I know you didn't. And I'm sorry I took it so hard and yelled at you. Hey, maybe me, you, and your sister could go to the park tomorrow and I'll buy you each an ice cream. My treat. That sounds great, Grissa. Are you sure? Absolutely. I owe you. Plus, I'd like to meet your sister, too. Okay. I'll have to ask Mom, but I'm sure I'll be okay. All right. Well, I gotta go and do my homework. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Was that Krista? Yeah. She called to apologize for being so mad at me, and she wants to take you and me to the park tomorrow and get an ice cream. That sounds great. Yeah, but I better go check with Mom. Okay, I hope she says yes. Me too. See, I knew they'd make up.